It's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Malt Garden in Poland and this is a bottle of their Away From Home. It's a double dry hopped hazy IPA coming in at 5.2% ABV in a 500ml bottle, black bottle cap. You can see the liquid in the glass, look. You can see the haziness going on. It looks lovely. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Massive thank you to Mark Watney from Poland for sending me this beer. Thank you very much, Mark. We give the last little bit of beer in that bottle a swirl round, get it in. Yeah, look at that. Haze for days, they call that. Uh, one to two finger white head, really hazy looking beer. I decided to go for a, a little bit of a standard pint glass with this because it comes in a 500ml bottle and this is a 500ml glass. And I've been busy all day and I just grabbed a pint glass because I need a beer. I just grabbed this glass. Um, it's not going to affect the aroma too much. Ideally, I should have grabbed something like this and used this. But I'm saving that for my barley wine. <laughs> so we've got a hazy straw amber coloured beer, light amber. Aroma just makes the eyes roll back into the head. That was just close your eyes and, and let them roll back. Oh. It smells tremendous, absolutely tremendous. It's got a really good mango passion fruit, kiwi, orange peel. It's like a punch bowl fruits for uh, of beer. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow, Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a fantastic beer this is, wow. Oh. Drinkability is incredible, there is a little bit of a... If I was to guess, maybe some oats. I'm going to guess on oats. There's a, there's definitely a creamy kind of slightly medium-bodied beer here going on on the mouthfeel. Grapefruity, citrusy, quite bitter. It's quite bitter on the back end. There's a nice amount of bitterness coming through. So you get the sweetness from the malt to begin with, and then it goes over to being, yeah, bitter. It is a double dry hopped hazy IPA. They've not called it a New England IPA. They've called it a double dry hopped hazy IPA. So nothing's to say that it can't be hoppy or for the style it shouldn't be hoppy. I'm quite happy to have the full spectrum of flavor, if I'm honest, between sweetness, bitterness on the back end, and then a crescendo of, of amazing hops in the, in the middle. Mango, citrus, passion fruit, fleshy blood orange. Oh, pardon me. Carbonation, as you've just heard. But it still holds a nice level of drinkability. It is still a really drinkable beer at the same time. Hmm. Very good, very good, kind of orangey, kind of fleshy blood orange, orange peel, kind of lemon, lemon peel going on. Nice bitterness. It's a, it's a cracker. It's a real cracker of a beer. There might be, I've had some of these malt garden beers in the past. and Yeah, there we go, there's some English. Um, water, barley malt, 
oat malt. There we go, oat malt and flaked oats and, and wheat flakes. So they've really gone for that mouthfeel. They've really gone for that kind of creamy mouthfeel. So it, it not only does it look that that lovely kind of haziness is it's got a look, you, you've got that kind of hazy kind of creamy depth to it as well with the mouthfeel. Um, and hops and yeast. They don't mention the hops. Uh, unpasteurized and unfiltered beer, 16% Plato. Uh, Bulwa J. Schwajmanskigo. Oh! It looks like it's been produced at Ale Brava. My, my great friends at Ale Brava. Blimey, the time goes so quick. Um, Brotrav International Beer Festival. Oh God, it's just, it's just I can't believe we've got, it's, it, okay, it's February, but we're going into kind of like March soon. And the fe festival in Wrocław is in May. And it just absolutely kind of, the year goes so quick, it really roars by. And it, it doesn't seem that long away now, the Wrocław International Beer Festival. I'll be glad to get back. I like, I like the festival. I imagine a glass of this in the sunshine would be absolutely tremendous. Really would be tremendous. Top class beer. Top class beer from a top class brewery. I'm going to rate it. Away from home, double dry hopped hazy IPA by Malt Garden. Yeah, that's. For me, that's a 9 out of 10. It's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Hit the no notification bell so you get notified of our uploads, um, even if it is twice a day. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, boom, cheers.